William Allen and John Hughes observe a strange and unusual beast. Here's the Salem Witch Hunt Daily Report for Tuesday, March 5th, 2024. On March 5th, 1692, Sarah Good was transferred from the Ipswich jail to Salem, where John Hawthorne and Jonathan Corwin interrogated her and Tituba in the jail. And William Allen, William Good, John Hughes, and Samuel Braybrook submitted testimony against the three women who'd been jailed, including Good and Tituba, as well as Sarah Osborne. Their testimony is what follows. March 5th, 1691-92. William Allen saith that on the first of March at night he heard a strange noise not usually heard and so continued for many times, so that he was affrighted. And coming nearer to it, he there saw a strange and unusual beast lying on the ground, so that going up to it, the said beast vanished away, and in the said place start up two or three women, and flew from me, not after the manner of other women, but swiftly vanished away out of our sight, which women we took to be Sarah Good, Sarah Osborne, and Tituba. The time was about an hour within night, and I, John Hughes, saith the same, being in company then with said Allen, as witnessed our hands, William Allen, John Hughes. William Allen further saith that on the second day of March, the said Sarah Good visibly appeared to him in his chamber, said Allen being in bed, and brought an unusual light in with her. The said Sarah came and sat upon his foot. The said Allen went to kick at her, upon which she vanished and the light with her. William Good saith that the night before his said wife was examined, he saw a wart or teat a little below her right shoulder, which he never saw before, and asked goodwife Ingersoll whether she did not see it when she searched her. John Hughes further saith that on the second day of March, that coming from Goodman Sibley's about eight of the clock in the night, he saw a great white dog whom he came up to, but he would not stir. But when he was passed, he, the said dog, followed him about four or five pole, and so disappeared. The same night, the said John Hughes, being in bed in a closed room, and the door being fast so that no cat nor dog could come in, the said John saw a great light appear in the said chamber, and rising up in his bed, he saw a large gray cat at his bed's foot. March the 2nd, Samuel Braybrook saith that carrying Sarah good to Ipswich, the said Sarah leapt off her horse three times which was between twelve and three of the clock of the same day, which the daughter of Thomas Putnam declared the same at her father's house. The said Braybrook further saith that said Sarah Good told him that she would not own herself to be a witch unless she has proved one. She saith that there is but one evidence, and that's an Indian, and therefore she fears not, and so continued railing against the magistrates, and she endeavored to kill herself. And that ends the statement. So have a great today and a beautiful tomorrow.